Nothing beats the fall time better than crisp, colder weather with this amazing pantry pasta dish. Using fresh pasta from our playlists or boxed, this oven butternut squash, pieces of kale, coated in a sizzling brown butter sauce provides everything you'll need for this new fall recipe. We hope you're ready to share something with your world, so let's dive into today's episode. All right, to start, what we're gonna go ahead and do while our water is boiling here to cook off our pasta that we made. Now, you can use two different kinds of pasta. You can use the pre-box stuff, or you can use the homemade pasta. We have the neck of the squash, and we have the bulb. The bulb is gonna contain the seeds, and we don't want the seed part today. Okay, so we're gonna sharp knife. We go right down by right where the bulb is starting to start, and we're just gonna move it around, wiggle the knife around, wiggle the squash around, okay? And you're left with the neck, and you're left with the bulb. Let's go ahead and set the bulb aside, and we're going to peel the squash, okay? The next squash, so you're gonna use this a sharp knife and go very slowly at this process and then just slowly peel this skin off. All right, so go ahead and we'll clear this off to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down. I wanna make um, about quarter inch slices going all the way down. So grip it and pull down. Again, a sharp knife, stiff grip, holding it because water will start to perspirate on the surface of the squash here, and you don't want to prevent this from slicing yourself. Work with only a couple at a time, but what I want to go ahead and do here is I want to quarter them, and I want to grab this pan here. And all I simply want to do is just a little bit of EVO on the bottom, okay? And I want to just arrange these on the sheet tray here. These are going to get nice and soft, and they're just going to get nice and smushy and be perfect for our pasta tonight. So make sure they're all flat. And then just again, a little bit of EVO on top. Okay. And then I want to go ahead and season them with some salt and some black pepper. All right, and these are all ready to go. We're gonna put these in the oven at 485. We'll let them roast until they're nice and golden brown. And it's just always good to set a reminder. So we'll set a 40 minute timer and we'll let it go for 40 minutes. And meanwhile, we'll do some prep on the side. So I have some kale. Go ahead and take the kale out of the package and just give this a quick rinse. Now what we wanna do is we wanna cut off these ribs. The rib is this part right here. Okay, we don't want that part. That part's very fibrous, and this is the part you want to discard. We'll go ahead and put that in our bowl here. Reserve that to the side, because we're ready for it. All right, so our water is boiling. It's perfect. We're gonna go ahead and add in some just canola oil here prevent our pasta from sticking, and then some kosher salt. Season your water, it makes your pasta taste day and night. I am using salt. I think I said kosher salt, but I am actually using sea salt here. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and cook the pasta ahead of time, and then we're gonna stop the cooking process, and I'll show you how to do that once it's all done. But our homemade pasta is gonna take only 30 to 45 seconds to make. It's nice and dry. And I encourage you, if you wanna try it out, I have the full recipe on pesciskitchen.com as well as in our playlist. So you want about a pound of fresh pasta. All right, let's go ahead and give this a taste. Pull it out. We're looking for al dente. Al dente is slightly undercooked because it's going to cook when we go to heat it up with everything else and marry all those flavors together. Mm. 
I love. There's just nothing like homemade pasta. All right, so just before we go to pull this, I want to go ahead and take that kale and I want to put it in the pasta, okay? Also make sure when you go to drain this, you reserve about one cup of this pasta liquid, okay? That's gonna help our pasta prevent it from um, sticking to the bottom of the pan when we go to toss everything together. Okay, so we just wanna wilt down this kale and you can tell it's already starting to cook. Look at how vibrant that kale looks. While that kale's cooking, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out one cup worth of liquid. We call this pasta liquid. Literally is pasta liquid. Okay, and we'll reserve that to the side for later. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this. All right, so this is what it looks like after we rinsed it under cold running water. That stops the cooking process, and what that essentially does is it stops the pasta from continuing to cook or the kale to continue to cook. We don't want this to go soggy on us, so we run it under cold running water, and then we give it a nice, good, damp tap, and then we're just gonna set this to the side and finish it coming up. I can hear the sizzle in that oven, which means we're ready to pull it. All right, so go ahead and pull that out of the oven. Hey, Mom. All right, so what we're looking for are these brown pieces on the bottom. Okay, you see right here. And we also wanna make sure that if we take a knife, we can cut right through it, okay? That means that our squash is cooked, it's hot. Let's give it a taste. Now, only do this if you're a pro. Don't do this if you're not. Mmm. Oh, that's good. You just wait and see. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come over to the pan here, Aiden. We're gonna make our brown butter sauce, okay? I'm okay. gonna go ahead and add eight tablespoons of butter. butter to the pan. Hot pan. You want a hot pan here because what we're looking to do is we're looking to burn the milk solids that's found in butter. So right now you've got the milk solids and the fat, but if we turn that heat up, very soon you'll start to see that that butter gets brown, and that's what we're looking for. And while that is continuing to cook, waiting for the butter to brown, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to add in our butternut squash that we have roasted off here in the pan. that a stir coating those pieces of roasted butternut squash and it's okay if your butternut squash is soft and it makes a mush what that's gonna do is it's gonna help coat the pasta better all right we're almost there I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle in a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes, one and a quarter teaspoons of garlic masala, and we're gonna go ahead and cook that. And this would really start to smell fragrant in a second. Mmm. Smells like fall. What do you know? This is a fall dish. One of many to come. All right, this is looking good. Now, 
to go ahead and add in that one cup of pasta sauce that we reserved. Give it a stir. Toss in our pasta and our kale. And gently fold those together. And now we just want to cook the pasta until it is fully reheated. And while that's reheating, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to zest and juice some lemon. So some fresh lemon zest is going to really open up the flavor profile on this dish. I am using a micro plane. You can find these anywhere. And I highly recommend you get one because they are different than a grater. They are finer than a grater. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and add in just the juice of one lemon. Go ahead and give that a toss. Turn down that heat. All right, let's go ahead and play it, Aiden. So we're gonna grab some of our pasta, put it right in the center, grab some squash, make sure you get some kale pieces. Looking gorgeous. Remember we eat with our eyes, so everything must look nice, clean, neat, clean as you go. Wipe as you go. Now, I'm gonna hit it with just a little bit of EVO on top. I'm gonna put just a little bit of salt and some fresh cracked pepper. And then for the final part, Parmesan cheese. But let me go into my refrigerator. I wanna grab a little bit higher quality Parmesan cheese. All right, now this is not a sponsor, but this cheese is amazing. It's called Locatelli cheese. It is grated Pecorino Romano cheese. We go through a lot of it in this house. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up a handful of this. Pecorino Romano. And look at that, sprinkle that right on top. And now we taste. This is gorgeous, if I may add. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna get some squash, kale, pasta. And we taste. Wow. Immediately. No, 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 honestly. I know Aiden's making fun of me because, <laughs> you know, my face is my facial expressions are always top notch here, so I think. But the butternut squash and that garam masala with the red pepper flakes and the homemade pasta, I mean, everything here is just... Perfect. Fall in a plate. And this is such an easy dish that you can make yourself. So, if you can so kindly smash that like button if you found value in today's video and you found it helpful. Also, maybe share this with your family and friends. And guys, guess what I'm gonna say? I'll see you on the next one. I'll, I'll see you next week. <laughs>